The Sustainable Energy for All initiative was launched by Secretary General Ban Ki-moon and President Jim Kim of the World Bank to, to promote the idea of sustainable energy for all that has three targets. One, to achieve universal access to energy by 2030, to double the annual rate of energy efficiency improvement by 2030, and to double the share of renewables by 2030. Three targets in one narrative to keep the world within two degrees, but also end energy poverty. Hydropower has to play a significant role because hydropower is one of the renewable energy sources. It is also one of the cheapest forms of providing electricity. So we see hydropower as an integral part of sustainable energy for all. I think the biggest challenge is first of all agreeing on a dialogue, an inclusive dialogue, that will make sure that they can share these resources optimally. Second, an agreement of how you balance hydropower production with making clean water available for urban communities that are sprawling all, all over uh, along river basins. And thirdly, how that water would also be made available for irrigation. We have limited supplies of clean water, how we use that and share those resources amongst countries that live around river basins is, is going to be crucial. But I know there are many successful examples to look at. I live in Vienna and I know there is a good set of uh, uh, um, initiatives and institutions built around how communities are using the Danube River. So there is a lot we can learn and I believe between the Austrians, the Hungarians and their other neighbours, they've been able, able to cleverly over time use those water resources very well for navigation and movement of products along those rivers, for power generation, clean water availability and irrigation, but also protecting the ecosystems. I believe that capacity expansion is possible, but it has to be done again within the context of sustainability and sharing of best practices and developing good knowledge systems will be cru crucial if we're going to achieve that level of scale up. Second, I think one can also say that in doing that, we must emphasize stronger international cooperation and um, uh, systems that can ensure better negotiations and transaction uh, um, and negotiating, in fact, how to use those water resources in, in a more uh, uh, inclusive way within the context of climate change. Remember that the worst scenarios of climate change predict in some locations, droughts. So you've built a dam, but then there's no water that's going to be a problem. In other locations, floods. Will these new hydropower installations be climate proofed properly? Will they have resilience in case there's too much water? How do you manage those water resources and in fact do you have other systems of storing water when you have these major changes in climate conditions.